I think it all started with my secondary school teacher. He kind of like showed me that I was actually good at something and that motivated me to want to explore painting a lot more through my um, teenage years. My A-level project was my favourite because it was all based around my trip to Uganda. So I went to Uganda two weeks before Covid hit and that was the only material I had. So everything I did in my A-level, every painting, every photo I took was all based around my adventure and my journey through Uganda, I guess. And it was just worked really well for me and I really enjoyed it. I try to like capture the essence of a person without having to draw them realistically. And I used all sorts of mediums. I used oil, acrylic, chalks. Like I turned chalks into paint at one point. And I'd like to combine them all in my pieces and it would, I don't know, it would be quite layered. And I'd enjoy doing that more than just choosing one medium. I think portraits are quite scary, you know? You go in to do a portrait and you're like, oh, where do I start? I think I do enjoy the challenge of it though. The, ch the challenge of a portrait is, is quite, quite good. But then landscapes, there's something, I've, done, I've been painting landscapes for like the last 10 years. So something about it I'll always love and I'll always enjoy. But right now, I think doing portraiture is, a, is a, quite a good challenge for me to take on, I guess. I would rather draw reference from a photo I've taken myself or from a moment I've seen myself than from another artist's work. I think using them as an inspiration is amazing, but always generating your own personal take on something is a lot more important. You know, that's, I guess, how you become an artist, is your own journey within the materials and with your experiences. My style and my brushes and my materials, they have their own, like, story, do you know what I mean? And, like, there's the certain brushes that make these certain marks, and if I, if I want that mark in this piece, I know that that brush will create that, that vision that I have because of like how much I've used them and how much experience I have with this tool. There is a lot of pressure in like the art world, 100%, especially at the minute where everything is on Instagram and you've got that whole like side of art that you didn't have before, where you can see it, everyone can put themselves out there so easily. So there is that pressure to I don't know, do the best and be the best. And it will always be a part of my life. Even if I don't choose it as a career, painting will always be a massive part of my life.